Former Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach says President Trump's delivery of wage hikes through stricter immigration enforcement in the interior of the United States has been a massive accomplishment for America's blue-collar and working-class communities. During a debate for Intelligence Squared, Kobach touted Trump's higher American economy, which has delivered increased blue-collar and working-class wages by between 3. 4% and 4% in the last 12 months. By reducing illegal immigration, you drive up wages, especially in unskilled labor categories, Kobach said. Therefore, blue collar workers have seen those wage gains, and Trump has delivered. Kobach said. In terms of wages, in the last 12 months, we've seen a 3.4% increase in nominal wages. That's extraordinary, the largest wage gains in the last 12 years. It is a massive achievement for the working, blue-collar voter, and that's why blue-collar voters in exit polls voted 66% for Donald Trump in the last election. He's the only one that can pull it off again. Emphasis added. The wage gains are a direct result of his positions and his policies on his signature campaign issue, which of course is immigration. President Trump has done what no other presidential candidate has done in recent years, made that a centerpiece issue, and has governed with that as a centerpiece issue. He has recognized that illegal immigration really does affect all of us. Every state is a border state now. Emphasis added. Those wage hikes for America's working and lower middle class and a populist nationalist agenda are what must continue for Trump to capture states like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan, as he did in 2016, in the upcoming 2020 presidential election. I don't know if any Republican can do what Trump did in those blue-collar states of Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin and break through the Rust Belt," Kobach said. The party, after Trump, we may be toast if we don't find somebody who has his special sauce who can connect with voters in those three states. Wage hikes for blue-collar and working-class Americans, though, are increasingly threatened by the record levels of illegal immigration coming across the U.S. Mexico border, as well as the Department of Homeland Security's DHS mass release of border crossers and illegal aliens into the interior of the country in recent months.